we're going to now build the low voltage circuit of the Nixie clock. And the components we need to do uh, to use to do this are of course the PCB itself, the UF4007 diode, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, it's written on there 104. Don't confuse it with the 22 picofarad capacitor which is much smaller. Let's take a look at the 22 picofarad capacitor. So there's the 22 picofarad, you can see it's smaller and 22 is written on it. So two 220 microfarad capacitors. Don't confuse them with the 2.2 microfarad 400 volt capacitor. A 7805 voltage regulator, a 3K resistor, a 3mm LED, the header for um, the power header, and the barrel jack. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount these um, in the order that they're shown on the, uh, on the list. So, Take them one at a time. So first of all, the diode. The diode D1 goes in this position here. So D1, you'll bend down the leads and we'll pop then the diode into the position on the board. Make sure that the white stripe on the diode matches the white stripe on the board. Solder these guys in. One. And then we'll trim the leads. The 100 nanofarad capacitor is C2, and that goes right here. So we'll pop that in its correct location. You spread the leads to make sure it doesn't fall out while we're soldering. One, two, trim up. So the two 220 microfarad capacitors C3 and C4. Note here that there's a white stripe on the capacitor which has to match up with the right stripe the white stripe on the board. So we'll pop these two guys in. There's C3. And again, white stripe to the bottom. And C4. Standing up a bit, so we will reflash that. Now it's good. Hmm. I'm not sure about that solder joint there. I think the tip, the bit on my soldering iron is getting very old. It's not taking the heat anymore. Okay. Okay. Next we put in the 7805 and the metal stripe has to go as marked on the board. This is IC1. Put it down to the bottom of the tabs. Fold one of them up to keep it in place while we're soldering. Okay, that's taken. It looks good. I always trim off the leads as soon as I've got one soldered. Because that makes it easier to solder the rest. There we go. Next, we put in the 3K resistor, which is R14, and the LED next to it. So, 
R14 is this one here and the LED is this one here. So, bend the leads on the resistor. And again, we bend one of them to keep it still while we're soldering. Okay, that's standing a little bit proud, so. LED has a short lead and a flat next to it. And the flat is marked on the board here. And we need to put in the LED so it stands a little bit off the board. Last is the connection to the header for the power. The easiest way of doing this is get a piece of tape and just tape it in. So tape it in while you're soldering it. it only needs to be the first pin. Take off the tape and adjust it so that it stands upright. This one looks pretty good. Solder the others. And last but not least, the barrel jack itself. So this will be our main input for the power. And again, tape it while you're. Oops while you're placing it and afterwards we can move it into the room and take the tape off. So I'm only going to solder one lead at this point because these guys don't like to sit down on the, on the board flat so we will reflow this. Okay now I can feel it's gone down flat. Okay and the other two connections. Volts. Okay. Let us plug in the power. And the LED comes on, so that's a good sign. The LED is showing the right, the right thing. Now, if we measure at the test points, so I want to go from ground to VCC. Five volts, very good. So, that's it. 